Go ahead. LVC Dusha, 26, born in Albania, raised in London, professional basketball player. Three, one, two, three, Raiders! What's up guys, LVC Dusha here, a brand ambassador for Always Balling. Go online, check out the site, see if there's anything you like. When you're online as well, have a look at the LVC Dusha collection and let me know if you buy anything and make sure you tag me online as well. Thank you. So week two of rehab um, didn't quite go as planned, not personally, but for the club, that's when we got hit with, um, well, that's when I personally found out about the situation that happened with the club and, and and the sad news that you know we're all aware of now and uh, it, it just sucked like it, it really took all the all the like life out of the room especially in the office because I, I you know I actually got to see all the guys in the office that day that we all found out and it became public so and it was devastating to see how um how affected, you know, the staff really was, you know, from from the GM all the way down to a community coach. It, it was it was heartbreaking, and to see how badly that affected the community, you know, the fans as well, but also the community. Like, you know, Plymouth Raiders no longer play basketball in Plymouth. Like, it just doesn't sit well with anyone like that's 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 a that's a major you know you're you're essentially going without what's been there for life sort of things so, you know there's guys in here you know, fans who i've actually met before who have been fans of the club since they've been a, a, a kid you know kids who have coached in sessions you know before covid when i was here it, it was like it was a huge loss to everyone in this city I think everyone needs to understand that it's bigger than basketball out here. Like it's not, I understand the club, <clears throat> club's gone under and a lot of people have their opinions and they're saying, or oh, this guy didn't put enough money or, or, or this owner's uh, selfish and these owners haven't done this. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's someone's life. You're essentially commenting on someone's life. You're, you're having an input, which I don't think anyone values unless you're in, in, in the environment about someone's, life essentially basketball is not be or an end or neither is is being famous or anything but basketball provides an income for a lot of people players for playing coaches for coaching staff for support for being the backbone of the club you take that away from them you're not just taking away finance you're you're taking someone's someone's you know passion that they've built someone's hobby and when they were a kid like you you there's a lot that you lose other than just a paycheck. No, I'll be totally honest with you, it didn't affect my rehab at all. Uh, and I put that all down to the club and everyone in the office that day. I, I, I came in and, and, and we all heard the fact that they said, look, regardless if our income's been cut, like we're still, we still want to use what we have, you know, the availability, the court, the, the accommodation that's still available at the time for me to have in order for me to actually get ready to play play basketball for another team. So for another another club is supporting me to go and be successful for another franchise. You know, so for me it, it didn't affect my rehab. I just saw the effect it had on everyone. I saw the stress that ran through 
you know everyone in the office and 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 the the job hunt stress and the rent stress and the you know you know people having families and stuff and your unborn child's are on the way and stuff so it's, it's it's loads of stuff like there's so much stuff to to take into it so for me to think it's affected my rehab i don't think it has at all because it you know I, i'm still you know still trying to figure it out like i think a lot more people have been affected in a lot more ways but yeah it's just such a shame if i'm being totally honest cool. earlier the life has just been sucked out of of, of of every individual essentially you know and 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 for me i hold a lot of respect to Elliot for maintaining his level of professionalism and for those that know Elliot he's outrageously professional so regardless the thought of him no longer having an income and not having a job and not being able to do the job he loves he you know he, he adores his job but yet he still not once allow that to affect mine in his session to allow it to affect mine in his routine to get in between what we're going on he never once cancelled or has ever been late to a session because he's been busy trying to find work elsewhere which is a real life problem he's always he's always kind of been there for me in the sense of every time i've needed something he's been you know one phone call away one trip away down the road essentially like it's just so just to see how you know guys like him and everyone else in the office are so pure and so honest and so genuine and to still kind of you know they're not broken none of them are, are broken down they're all figuring it out they're grown men like but it's just it's such a shame to think they have to go through that well my only problem at the time is i just have to get my knee better and find a job elsewhere you know for for a basketball player it's easy to jump on a flight and go and and become a citizen for a few months in another city or, or another country whereas you know staff who've got kids houses mortgage cars a, a life basically you can't you know what i mean it, it's, it's how, how rare is you know oh i've lost my job no worries i'll move out to another country to, 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 to supply a living so yeah but i don't know it's a mad one There's just days where my body just feels like it's off, just feels like it's turned off, feels like my quads just so overworked from the last session that it can't, I can't carry this sort of, you know, continuously day after day after day. But, you know, I've, I've, I've still gone through with it. We've done as much as we can. We've tried to minimise as much. I genuinely thought yesterday would be the day I get, you're good, like you're actually good. Now you just need strength training. But I don't know, just some of the movements, some of the exercises just now, I just felt a little gush of pain again. And I don't know, I just felt shit, to be honest with you. But...